So the bad news is, my bike was stolen. My Trek Emonda ALR4 was nicked from my first floor balcony. Bad times. The good news is, that means I've had to buy a new bike. And I've gone for the Cannondale CAD 13. So in this video, I'll be unboxing the Cannondale, I'll be talking through the specifications, and I'll talk you through why I decided on this bike rather than any other. Let's get it open, shall we? It does explicitly say, do not use knife, and I've uh, broken that rule straight away. So in here, I'm hoping, is some pedals. Obviously, often new road bikes don't come with pedals. I say obviously, it wasn't obvious to me when I was a beginner. As well as a Wahoo mount. And I'm also hoping in this box there's some tire levers. Is there anything else in this? Not from memory. So there's some pedals. There's a little spanner, which is gonna be handy. There's my tire levers, warranty card, 30 days free insurance. Manual installation compound. Oh, lovely. Big old box of reflectors. I don't think I'll be using these. They'll be going to the local charity. Hex key set. And the mount for my Wahoo Element Bolt. Great stuff. All right, let's see what state this bike is in and let's see how much building it requires. Seat post and saddle. And a load of grease on the seat post, which I didn't see and now my hands are covered in crap. So here we go. Box of protective padding, doesn't seem to be any scuff, seems to have survived the journey. From wheel, so I bought this from Sigma Sports from their website. The reason I did that is because I've bought from them before. I bought my Trekkie Monda from them, so I trust them and that's where I've got it from this time. So I bought this on the 25th, which was a Saturday. Today's a Thursday and it's arrived today. Communication from Sigma was super clear, pretty speedy delivery. It was easy to track the order. So yeah, really pleased that I went with Sigma again. Another reason I chose Sigma was because this bike cost 2,300 pounds. Insert could ching sound effect, I suspect, which is obviously a hell of a lot of money. I cycle a lot, so it's something that I'm willing to fork out on, but it's obviously a really expensive thing to buy. With Sigma, I was able to pay off in, in installments. You can choose from six months, 12 months, 24 months, maybe longer, and it's it's um, interest free as well, so I'm not paying any extra to be able to pay it off by instalments. So let's get this unwrapped, shall we, and uh, talk you through it a bit more. Piqued someone's interest, does it? So the bike comes mostly built up, to be honest. Um, not too much for me to do. Probably quite an easy job for anyone, really. You don't need that much experience. Obviously, take it to a bike shop if you're not too confident. We need to put in the saddle, which is a simple job. The front wheel needs to go on, another simple job. And the handlebars aren't currently on at the minute as well. I guess it just takes up less width in the box and in the van. Turns out this is slightly harder one-handed than I might have expected. Lots of police knocking about outside today by the sounds of it, so not great for the audio. I'm sure they're out there looking for my stolen bike. Obviously not really, they told me they couldn't do anything about it. Turns out the um, clippers that we used to trim the cat's nails with, excellent at removing zip ties. Cable ties. I'm also gonna be exceptionally careful with my pen knife. So I've decided to go for a size 48 centimeter frame, which is really small. I'm about five foot eight, five foot nine, but I have short legs, short arms, and a long neck. So although I may be five foot eight, the way I interact with the bike, I feel like I'm kind of quite a lot smaller than that. My last bike I had was a size 51. I felt a little bit too stretched out. I had to run the saddle quite low. So I've gone with a 48 this time. Now there'll be lots of people saying that I should have got a bike fit first. You're absolutely right. But frankly, I'm impatient. I was already really gutted about the fact my bike was stolen, so I've risked it this time. It might be something I come to regret, but I feel like I've been fairly informed with what I've bought, and the logic I've gone with is that it's easier to make a small bike slightly bigger than it is to make a big bike smaller. I actually think it might be easier to talk you through this if I stick the bike up on a stand, so I'm gonna do that now. So this bike is aluminium, which is a key reason as to why I chose it, and I'm still gonna be careful with the frame. How's that? Can you see that? Just about. Pop you back slightly, shall we? So now that the bike is up on the stand, I'm gonna talk you through the reasons why I chose to buy the Cannondale CAD 13 as opposed to the other bikes that are available on the market. I'll keep unpacking at the same time. Hopefully that's not too distracting. So first things first, on a road bike that would be relatively lightweight, relatively aerodynamic, and crucially within my price range, I was looking at around 2,000 pounds. It's not the most lightweight bike, and it's not the most aero bike. From what I've read, it's a little bit of both. But realistically, I'm within a budget, I'm not gonna be able to get a super lightweight bike. I'm not gonna be able to get a super aero bike. This for me seemed the right choice on that front. The next thing for me was that I wanted to stick with aluminium. If I could, my second bike, my Kona Rove is an alloy bike. I'm not that experienced with carbon fiber. I don't really know how to look after it. And I just felt comfortable sticking with aluminium on this occasion. And I've also read that a top end aluminium bike 
is often better than a lower end carbon fiber bike. Another thing with this bike is that I wanted to use it as an opportunity to upgrade my group set and just generally get a slightly higher spec bike than the Trek. So the Trek that I'm replacing came with Shimano Tiagra group set. This comes with a Shimano 105, so there's an upgrade there. I also saw getting a new bike as an opportunity to upgrade my pedals. Obviously my pedals were stolen on my previous bike. On the Trek, I ran Shimano 105. So for this bike, I've bought myself Shimano Altegra the next stage up. Oh, they even come with cleats. Lovely. Another consideration for me was that I wanted to buy a bike that came out of the box with a decent set of wheels. I didn't want to immediately have to upgrade my wheel set. On my Trek, I was running some DT Swiss wheels. And on this Cannondale, they come equipped with DT Swiss wheels as well. So a decent set of wheels and something that I'm not gonna wanna immediately fork out more money with. This Cannondale CAD 13 also comes with mounts for mudguards. That's something my Trek didn't have. And although I don't like running mudguards very often, my theory was, if I do ever want to upgrade again to a more expensive bike, to a better bike, then this can quite easily transform to become my winter bike. It's aluminium and it's got mounts for mudguards. It's going to be able to withstand rain and murky conditions a bit better than my Trek, for example, that didn't have mudguards, would be spraying water everywhere. One thing I might have to upgrade on from how it comes out the box is the saddle. I'll give this a test. This is a Physique Aliante. There's no cutout. In my experience, I do prefer saddles with cutouts. Anoila just bought a Seller Italia for my previous bike. I was quite enjoying it. I might replace it with that again, but I will give this a try and see if I get on with it. It seems like a good opportunity to try something else out. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna blame the uh, cheese plant that's in my way. Another reason I went for this bike is just that it's got really good reviews. I'll post some links down below. But everyone's saying that it performs really well. It's kind of the top alloy bike on the market. And that although it's pricey, in this day and age, it is still relatively good value for money. Getting there with this bloody clean film. I mean, I appreciate the fact that it's not going to get scratched up in transit, but seems slightly overkill, perhaps. It's like vacuum wrapped. Another consideration for me was that I didn't want a bike that looked really fancy and expensive. My Trek, although it was actually cheaper than this bike, was shaped like it was carbon fiber. It had a kind of a garish yellow red blend paint job which made it look, I feel like maybe kind of made it look like a more fancy bike to people that don't know. Because I feel like this black paint job and the fact that it looks more like aluminium because of the kind of the chunky welds and things perhaps will make it slightly less appealing to thieves which is a very depressing consideration but I still feel a bit traumatised by my bike being stolen off my balcony to be honest so it is something I'm considering particularly given around London has been a fair amount of bike thefts. Okay that might finally be the rest, the last of the clean film. Let's get the front wheel on, shall we? And there we go, the bike is a bike. So let's talk through the specifications. So the Cannondale Cab 13, disc 105, road bike, 2023 version, 2,300 pounds. This is the size 48. It's an alloy frame, carbon fork with a speed release through axle, Shimano 105 11 speed mechanical group set, Shimano 105 hydraulic disc brakes, and DT Swiss 470 wheels, and it comes with Vittoria Rubino Pro tires. I'll probably upgrade those to GP 5000s. It comes with a Cannondale removable mudguard bridge, so it is mudguard compatible. Like I said, I think I'll be using this in the winter months. It comes with a Physic Aliante Delta S alloy rail saddle. The set is a Shimano 105 11 to 30, and on the front it is a 5236, so it's not quite the one to one gear ratio which I usually would like. But I think I do remember reading that this rear derailleur will take anything up to a 34 speed cassette, so I'll probably get a bigger cassette and get myself some easier gears. The advertised weight on the uh, Cannondale website is 9 kilograms. The actual weight of this size 48 frame with pedals, Wahoo mount, and bottle cages installed is. 9 kilos and 2 grams. And if you want to know more about the bike, I'll leave a link to Sigma, where I bought it from, down below. So there we go, new bike day, in the bag, stolen bike, sad, new bike day, good, Cannondale CAD 13, 
Looking forward to giving it its very first spin. I'm not going to take it on a ride today. I'll make sure it's all properly built up. But if you are interested in seeing the first ride of this bike, I suspect that'll be the next video on the channel. So do subscribe if you want to see that. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should have gone with carbon fiber rather than alloy at this price range. And do let me know if you think there's any other bikes I should have considered at this price range. And if you've not got any suggestions, just comment below anyway. It's good for the algorithm, isn't it? As always, thank you for watching. Hit the like button so YouTube maybe shows this to other people. And hopefully see you again soon. Cheers. Hey, what? Oh, almost disaster. That's what happens when you don't actually lock your uh, bike stand closed.